Hey, what's up guys? It's Shaq. Uh, in this video, I wanted to make, uh, you know, a short little video here. And I want to outline five things I love about my Dodge Charger. So, right now I'm in my 2016 Dodge Charger RT. It's got a 5.7 Hemi with an 8-speed auto transmission. And I've had this car for almost a year now. About, I think, 10 or 11 months. So, I think it's fair enough for me to make a video, you know, outlining things I like and don't like about it. I've got currently... 86,000 8600 miles on the car so a little behind on the mileage but you know definitely have a feel for what i'm driving so i'm going to start off with the first thing i like about this car is the fact that you know the v8 it's fucking great i mean this car pulls like no tomorrow it does burnouts like crazy you know it's it's a load of fun the eight speed automatic so i guess you could make my first like would be the powertrain because the powertrain is just phenomenal I mean the differential is a little weak but again you could option this car up to have the nice differential the 307 I think it's limited slip and it, it's probably gonna make the car a lot faster than my car already is so definitely have no complaints as far as the powertrain goes and it would be my number one you know thing in the car I mean when you buy a Dodge Charger RT the biggest like focus point of the car is not luxury or something it's the powertrain so that would be the first thing I love the second thing I would love is my my key fob, and uh, that goes a long way as far as you know the key fob. It includes my you know, remote start, which you know, I can start up the car. I've got the car straight pipe, so you know I can hear it from you know inside. It's great. It starts up, it warms up. I get in the car. You know my if it's cold out, it automatically turns on the heat. If it's hot out, it automatically turns on the AC. And along with the heated seats, heating steering wheel, ventilated seats, it knows what you want, and it always takes care of you. So the key fob's really nice. When you keep it in your pocket, you can walk up to the door, put your hand behind the door, unlock the car, it's great. You can lock the car from the door, keeping the key in your pocket. You can start the car with the you know push button start. So pretty much you don't even need to take the key out of your pocket once you start the you know. Once you're out of the house, you don't need your keys anymore. And it's great because uh, I hate you know jumbling around with the keys. Secondly, so it's going on to my second thing. I love about this car is for forty thousand dollars you get a lot of stuff. So I've got a sunroof here, as you can see. I've got leather seats. Now I'm not sure if this leather is actually real leather, but you know it feels good. It definitely beats the cloth, and you can't really, you know, you can't argue with that. So you know, overall the car has a pretty premium feel to it. It's not like a shitty Dodge you've always heard of. It doesn't have a plasticky interior. The interior is really nice. Every part of it's really nice. You know, I would definitely tell you guys to go check out this car in a dealership or something because it's nice. I mean, the buttons and switches, yeah, they're made of plastic, but they're like, they're premium feel. Like, my window switches are the same window switches you'll find in a Maserati. So, you can go from there. Like, they're not that cheap. I mean, they're cheap, but they're not that cheap, you know? And the infotainment system in this car is definitely the best infotainment system you could have in any car so you know definitely i can't argue with any you know i've had bmws i've driven bmws and this infotainment system beats i drive 100 percent you know i've driven audis i've driven lexuses toyotas hondas fords chevys everything i never said i owned them i said i drove them. and uh <laughs> This infotainment system beats every single one on the market. So definitely going to give this infotainment system my, I guess you could say my second likes. My second favorite thing about the car would be the infotainment system. First being the key fob, second being the infotainment system. The third thing I'd like to point out is the four doors. Now, the Charger is the car with four doors. And I love the fact that I have four doors. It makes it so much easier for people in the back going in, you know, me, as someone who wanted a muscle car, someone who wanted a nice, you know, sports car, there's not too many options where it comes to four-door as far as American muscle cars. So, Mustangs don't come in four-doors, Camaros don't come in four-doors, Challengers don't come in four-doors. The Charger is the only muscle car, if you ask me, that comes in a four-door, you know, design. So, in my opinion, that four-door would be my third thing that I love about the Kuwait. Where this bump? There you go. Uh, the four doors is definitely something that I want to point out. So that would be my third thing that I love about this car is the fact that it has four doors that can move people in and out of it very easily. Now, because of design, the people in the back will hit their head on like 
the where you go like that far right there you see where my hand is like that that like that area they'll hit their head on the top because the roof is sloped and you know it's to shape the car on the outside but it's definitely really nice because you can move people at least you have doors you have to move your seat up every time which i absolutely hate i had a coupe bmw and i think the number one thing i hated about that car was the fact that it was coupe as much as I love the fact that it was coupe, the fact that it was coupe kind of bothered me too. And again, that was because I had to have people move it in and out of the rear seats, and it was just a pain in the ass. So this this was really good about this car. This third thing, no, that is the third thing. The fourth thing, I guess, really goes with the third thing is, again, with the shape of the car, the trunk is huge. You know, if you look at Mustangs and if you look at Camaros, you know, their trunks are really tiny. The trunk space is really small. A really tight cargo area in those cars whereas my car has a huge trunk and that is another thing that I really love about this car so I think what are we at we got the key we got the infotainment system we got the overall design of the car and we got the powertrain so we're at four right now we got one more I think for my last one to you know this is I'm winging this because I love this car so much I don't even need to make a script but the fifth thing and the last thing I want to say that I love about my car is I would say design. Now, the car, it looks good. And for the price point, now I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it. I leased this car for zero down and $346 a month. So for $350 a month roughly, you know, I'm getting, you know, a V8, an 8 speed automatic, you know, 20 inch rims, sunroof, heated seats, ventilated seats. The overall package of the car is great. Now, yeah, I always have my friends shitting on me saying I drive a Dodge Dart, but that's because they're fucking faggots and they don't really know what I'm driving. So, you know, for people who know what this car is, they look at the car, for $350 a month, this thing is a gem. You could be driving, you know, a base model Honda Pilot or, you know, some other shitty car for $350 a month. So the value in this car is definitely amazing when you think about it. And for $40,000, even if you have worth to buy the car, it's got a lot of things in it, you know? You could easily mod it. You could, there's a lot of aftermarket things for this car, you know? What the fuck? Anyway. Uh, you know, it's got parking sensors that you just heard. I don't know why they went off, but I have parking sensors. And, you know, fog lights, HIDs. I think they're HIDs. Literally everything you can think of this car has, and... You know, for 40 grand, it's really a steal if you ask me, you know. You're getting top-of-the-line equipment, you know. You're getting premium things for, you know, not an economy price point, but not too far from there either. And it's a full-size sedan, so at the end of the day, you can still fit five people in here comfortably. You know, I mean, the rear seat is not as big as, you know, a Lincoln Town car or something, but it's still a good rear seat, and it definitely beats, you know, your Toyota Corolla, so... I would definitely point that out, and I think that that's where I'll have to end my video today. Uh, so those are my top five things I love about this car. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and uh, leave it. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna pull over so I can finish the video. Uh, let me know what you think about you know the car. Let me know what if you have this car. What what thing? What things do you like? What things did you not like from my other video? about the five things I hate about this car. And uh, I'll put the link in that video in the description below. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. And uh, you know, you'll get the updates and whatnot. Check out my channel for more videos. Hit the like button, uh, what else? Comment below for anything, uh, what am I missing? Follow me on Twitter, at Shax Tweets. Follow me on Instagram, at Shax Insta. And at the end of the day, guys, no matter what you drive, just enjoy it. As long as you like your car, fuck everyone else, it doesn't matter. As long as you like it, you could be driving a Dodge Dart, if that's what you like, if that's what you can afford, that's the car for you. And that's about it, man. I mean, for me, this is my car. You know, I like it. I might part ways with it soon. I don't even know. But I still love it. And, you know, no matter if people call it Dodge Dart or people call it a fucking Hellcat, at the end of the day, I know what it is and I drive it. So that's all I have to say about that, guys. I hope you enjoy your car and uh, have a safe day.